What's up scrubs and scrubettes? My name's Gal, welcome to the Rust Power Minute. 60 seconds on the clock to teach you everything you need to know about a given Rust component. Coming at you every day until we're done, lucky last on the power source list, we're looking at solar panels. Found in basic crates, or for 75 scrap from the outpost, solar panels are ordinarily a player's first run in with electricity. They have to be placed outdoors in the sun. If you thought putting solar panels in the shade was okay, then we're really in trouble here. Keep them elevated so that it's not too easy for rabid nakeds to break them. They produce less power proportional to how much damage they've taken. You have to place one facing east and another facing west so that you get power all day. But for the time being, if you point them mostly north, given the offset sun movement, they will get power most of the day. I only add this because when I said east and west mere seconds ago, at least 10 sweaty nerds got excited and started typing madly. If you want my opinion, don't depend on these kinds of exploits. They're not hanging around. Face Punch is gonna fix them in time. It's probably at the bottom of a backlog of fixes, but it's coming, so learn to use them properly. If you're laying the cable right, you'll run to a root combiner that can take at least two bit like your mum. They obviously don't work at night, but they pair well with a battery. <coughs> These power minutes are pretty quick to slap out, so don't worry, we're gonna do other videos alongside them. But if you want to see more, do all the good things. Like and subscribe, fondle the bell, and if there's any particular circuit you want to see, leave a comment down below, or visit us on the Discord. I promise nobody on the Discord is prepped. Well, look, I can't really promise, but I'm pretty sure nobody on the Discord is better.